team made freezing exciting at this year's Olympics. They won our nation's first ever gold medal in the sport, and we were so intrigued that we sent Jimmy Rhodes to learn the sport nicknamed the Roaring Game. It's on the hit list. After the Olympic victory by the U.S. curling team, the sport has exploded in popularity. Across the country, curling clubs everywhere have basically seen an uptick. We've hosted open houses left and right, a bunch of tri-curling events, and most curling clubs have actually sent thousands of people through just in the past month alone. Kimberly Gaddy, membership chairperson for the Coyotes Curling Club, shows us the three things you need to know to get in on the curling bandwagon. First step. Deliver the stone. Do I see these little... Uh, so that's called the hack. Th that's called the hack. And that's where the whole thing begins. The hack is like a runner's starting block. You kneel down and place one foot in the hack. Your other foot you place on a shoe insert shaped Teflon slider to help launch you out of the hack. Next step, we're going to raise those hips so you have a flat back. Okay. Push forward, hold on the stone, and go. There it goes. Oh, that's a good looking stone. Booyah! The next skill to learn is sweep the ice. What do you call these? These are your brooms. We're brooms. very unique when it comes to naming things. If you thought the broom was used to scuff up the ice to make the stone slow down, think again. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to sweep in front of the stone. Mm -hmm. and what you'll do is you'll actually help a stone travel further and be straighter. Why does this help? It go further. If you sweep fast enough and with enough pressure, you're going to actually heat the ice and kind of melt it slightly. So that allows you to keep the stone traveling further. The final step to curling, know how to score. When all 16 stones travel down to the far end of the sheet, you score. Two teams of four play against each other with each member delivering two stones per round. At the end of the ice sheet, or lane, is a big dartboard style target called the house. For example, if going from the center out, it's red, red, yellow, red would score too. The goal is to have more of your color stones closest to the center by the end of the match. Slip and slide down victory lane on the hit list.